I wanted to make sure I did was, you know, kind of help that buzz and simmer as long as possible, right? Whether the writers wrote the lines or not, you know, um, naturally there, there, there are so many stories that we can tell. Um, and we're not always going to lean into what's going on with Atwater, but what's going on with Atwater is never going to leave the character. So hopefully through, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, the, the text between the lines, I try to find moments where I can still let certain things resonate. Um, Atwater will never be the same cop again. So what you can look forward to is, is the, the struggle of me trying to, uh, trying to lean in regardless, whether I have the lines or not. And then, you know, and then you earn, you know, the moment where, you know, the, the, uh, the moment comes where, you know, you show us what you learn. I, I think he's totally mellowed. Um, I think also because Patty's kind of mellowed. So like, you know what I mean? Like the cool thing about all of the growth that's happened with our characters is it's growth that's happened in our personal lives. I, I know I can speak for myself and the Royce um, when I say that. Amy, you maybe you're still in the same place. I don't know. Um, <laughs> grow up. <laughs> Jesus, grow up. <laughs> Come on, Aim. Catch up, dude. Uh, no, uh, I think um, I think that uh, you know Ruzik has policing in his blood, and I think that um, he came into it, you know, all gung ho, very excited. Uh, you know, wants to be the best cop. He looks up to his dad. He looked up to Alvin Alinsky. You know, he looks up to Voight. These are all father figures, um, and. But I think, you know, as you get deeper into anything, any job, any profession, any pastime, you know, you start to get a, a more well-rounded view of what your, what, what your everyday life is and what you're doing and what your intentions are and what, uh, how you bring yourself to the table. So, yeah, I think he has had a lot on his plate, but I think um, at this point in his life and in his career, he's much better prepared to handle those things. And... Um, and that's an it's a testament to Atwater, to Burgess, to Voigt, to to, to Platt, to to Alinsky. You know, he's he's growing, he's learning all of the time. And um, so he has calmed down because I think he doesn't feel like the need to try so hard. I think he has a better idea of who he is and where he lands within the unit and uh, where he lands within his job and his own personal opinions of what his job looks like and uh, what the uh, uh, social impact of his job is. I think that I think that Berzik, I think that these are two people that just can't get away from each other. You know what I mean? I think they they try. They've dated other people. I mean, I dated somebody else within the unit, which was a weird storyline, but it was there. And uh, so I, I think that one day. What's that? You really did it flat one day. Yeah. Oh, I did it flat too. I've been on a date with just about everybody on the show. Um Best best episode, by the way, Amy. I still like. I'm like that, and my introduction when I kicked over the table are my favorite. No, I think I think these are just two two people that can't get away from each other. I, I that's how I've always seen it. Is it's just it's like this built in thing, you know. You, they talk about soulmates, and I think that sometimes that's hokey pokey romance novels that you pick up in the grocery store, and I think that sometimes that's reality. <laughs>